Hi there, welcome to this tutorial from lithos.com. Uh, in this tutorial, let's look at the list interface. So we'll look at what are the different methods which are present in the list interface, uh, how does it uh, differ from the collections interface, uh, and what are the different uh, things that you need to understand about the list interface. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing is the list interface extends the collection interface. So collection is the basic interface that is defined in the collections class, I mean collections in Java. The collection uh, interface offers a lot of methods in Java. So uh, the collection object, uh, collection interface has all these methods. So you can check the size of the collection, you can add an element, you can remove an element, you can check if there is an element present. So can you can do a contains to check if an element is present in a collection and a lot of other stuff so a collection is the basic is the basic interface uh, in the collections in java but uh, the interface that we are talking about now which is the li list interface extends the collection interface that means it provides all the methods i mean it includes all the methods from the collection interface so all the methods that we looked at in the collection interface like add, remove, contains, contains all, all these methods are also part of the list interface. So the list interface in Java contains all the methods that are present in the collection interface and a few additional methods. So these are all the additional methods which are present in a list interface. The main uh, thing that a list provides is the position. So in a collection you are generally not in a generic collection which is not a list you are not worried about the position of an element in the array. So let's say I have a collection of objects 1, 2, 3, 4. If you are not concerned where 1 is, where 2 is, where 3 is, where 4 is then you don't need to use a list. But if I'm really concerned that the position should be exact, so let's say I want to order the batsmen in terms of the number of runs they have made. So first would be Sachin and then probably somewhere down the line would be Lara and then somewhere down the line for enough is Kohli. So in this position, in this list of things, the position is very important. Sachin is the, at zero or I'm talking about the index 0 but position 1. Lara is 1 and Kohli is 2. So in this particular example the position really matters. Sachin is 0, Lara is 1 and Kohli is 2. If you change the order then the uh, then the thing is wrong. So in these kind of situation we use something called list. So list is the interface which is the generic thing for the classes where position is important. So we really care about which position the object in is in. So if you look at all the methods in the list interface, they allow you to add elements or remove elements by specifying the position. So if let's say I had this list, then I would be able to do that particular list. So let's say this particular list was batsman's list. The name of this list is batsman. Then I would be able to do batsman dot remove and say which position. I want to remove from position 0. I want to remove from position 1. So all these kind of things are possible in a list. So in list the most important thing is the position is very important. So if you look at the kind of methods which a list interface provides, it says get and a value. So I can say batsman dot get which position I want to get it from position two. So I would get Kohli back. So I can also say uh, batsman dot set and at a position somebody. So I can say batsman dot set. I want to set him at position 2, I want to probably put somewhere, uh, let's just say pointing. 
in between Lara and Kohli. So what happens is Lara will be uh, like sorry Persian two. So it would be between Sachin and Lara. Ponting comes in. So it would become Ponting, Lara, and the position of Lara becomes three, and Ponting will become two. So I'm I will be able to add a element at a particular position. So at this position, I want to add this element. I can remove something. So I can say remove one. So Sachin goes away. Or sorry, <laughs> I think I got the index a little wrong. So this is the right index. So you can do that. And also you can find the index of a particular thing. So I can say batsman.index of wanting and I would get a value one. And I can like the another thing about a list is list allows for duplicates. So generally all lists allow for duplicates. That's why here you'd see a last index of method. So you you are saying like Sachin can be twice in this list and then I want the last index of Sachin. So that kind of stuff. And you have iterators defined on the thing. So basically, if I can summarize the list interface, list interface is an extension of the collection interface and it provides methods which care about the position. So in addition to the normal methods in a collection, list interface provides methods which care about what is present in that particular list of values. Okay, there you go. That's the list interface. Until next time, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.